Hello, Paleo fans, and welcome back to a new video. Ooh, look at this guy. Well, my name is Paleo Tufts, and this is Prehistoric Kingdom. Now, I've actually played this game a little bit, and they recently updated it, called the Jurassic Pack. It's, uh, it looks pretty interesting, and they've done a few things. In fact, a, uh, fellow YouTuber by the name of, uh, Calico Jackasaur actually recommended I play this game, and I actually recommend you check out his channel. He's it's pretty interesting what he does. He compares dinosaurs in uh, Jurassic World Evolution and compares how realistic they are. So without further ado, let's uh, get playing. And it looks like they deleted my old stuff, but that's okay. We'll start new and fresh. Ooh, look at this! So we got new terrains now. All right. We got sandbox coming out. What's this? Campaign? No? Okay, we can't do that. Uh, Mediterranean. I think it's still Mediterranean. I'm not so sure. Okay. Let's see. Easy difficulty. Unlimited funding. Okay, we get to call it anything we want. So how about we call it Paleo Park? Yeah. Alrighty. So, uh... Without further ado, let's jump right in and see what else we can make. So the loading screen here, and uh, now these are this is the same studio that brought you uh, a story, and it was so I'm very excited for this game. In fact, I'm a backer of this game from Kickstarter, and I absolutely can't wait to see this game in full potential. So we'll get through this here, and we get to see what's new. And don't mind the computer, it's a loud noise there. And Okay, let's see what we got here. Wow! And they weren't kidding, they've updated this island pretty well. It's nice and flat, it's bigger, it doesn't look too cartoony like it did last time. It's amazing. Well, okay then, let's uh, make some dinosaurs, shall we? But first, if I remember, you have to get power and water supplies, so... I guess we can get our water pump here. We can convert salt water into fresh, I guess. Uh, here. There we go. And what I like about this is that uh, it's much easier to use. And wow, they did a brilliant job with this. Alright, so now we'll get our power source. It's all renewable energy, I guess. And here's a wind powered windmill. I like putting it on hills, so let's see if I can put one on. The hillside here. Uh, there's. I saw. There we go. Turn it towards the sea. Boom. Oh, it's rotating by itself, is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's weird. Alrighty. So, let's put more here. Might not let me do any more. Uh, okay. I want to straighten this thing out here. Come on. There you go. Or maybe they're supposed to turn. Yeah, they are turning. That's that's clever. They're catching wind, so... That is clever. So wherever the wind is blowing, they catch on to it. That's very efficient there. Okay, then. So, well, maybe one more down here. Maybe a couple more. There you go. That's more like it. Now, let's make ourselves a hatchery, shall we? So we got our hatchery. Let's uh, switch that around. Wow. All right. Bit nice. Still the same format, but let's see if there's anything new. So we got shelters. Nothing new there. Feeding. Ooh. A oh, sauropod feeder. That's cool. So they don't have to bend down and eat their food. That's interesting. What else do we got here? Water, utility, transportation. We still have the Jeep garage. Feeding, shelters, any shelters, no? Okay, maybe this, vegetation. Ooh, yeah, look at that. That's nice. And we get the, oh, yeah, they did say something about this. You can uh, make uh, the same way you do with Roxen originally in the demo, and now you can actually... Move them. <laughs> that's a giant palm tree. Uh, yeah, you can move them to each size you want, so that's very nice. 
Okay, so what am I doing? Okay, let's make a dinosaur exhibit, shall we? So, uh, I guess we'll start from scratch here. What kind of fences do we got? Ooh, an electric fence. Woven horse fence, huh? Huh, <laughs> interesting. Metal, ooh, we got an electrical metal. Ele elephant size, yeah, cool. Reinforced metal, yeah. That'd be nice for a T-Rex exhibit. Actually, let's first, let's get to, uh, the Jurassic dinosaurs first. After all, this is the Jurassic, uh, update. So, let's try that. In stone, oh, we got a nice bridge there. Or not bridge, uh, new fence. So, I wonder if I should use this one. Uh, nah, let's go with the sauropod. Uh, let's make a sauropod enclosure, shall we? Maybe, like, yeah, why not this? And, uh, you know, what I was thinking, we'll maybe make some sort of Jurassic plane, like from the Morrison Formation. So, let's do that. And speaking of the Morrison Formation, uh, I'm sorry to report, but I've had been delayed a lot to uh, make my edit out my video from my last year's dig, and eventually I will get to it. I've have been extremely busy, and uh, I do all that sort of stuff on my phone, to be honest, and. Trust me, this is going to be the last time I edit a full dig video on my phone, so... Yeah, so that's going to be interesting. So, okay, what's... That looks good there. Nice squared enclosure. Now let's, uh... Get a gate here. Place a gate. Alright, so that should hold, like, a sauropod or a stegosaur or a dryosaurus, so... That looks nice. Now maybe let's get a pond in there or something. Uh, here. Water, vegetation, park scenery, rocks. Ooh, they got new rocks. Awesome. Cliff wall. Yeah, you get to make that bigger if you want. So, new vegetation. Yeah, we'll get into that. Interesting. Very neat. All right, let's try this. Uh, water. Okay, they still have the tree selection. I wonder if they improved the water. Uh... So you gotta lower it a bit, kind of like that. Ooh, yeah, it's not so uh, deep anymore. So that's that's very nice. I love this update. This is awesome. Alrighty, so let's level this, I guess. It's a nice little Jurassic pond there. Let's smooth it out. Okay, nice little watering hole. Kind of reminds me maybe of the Cleveland Lloyd Clory. Where there are a bunch of allosaurs died at one spot. And, uh... Well, yeah, let's do some... No, let's do some trees first. So, there were pine trees back in the Jurassic. I kind of want to replicate that. So, let's see if this will work. Uh, yeah, that... That's alright there. So, more pine trees here. Boop, 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 boop. And a boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. And why not this type of pine tree, too? Boop, 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 boop. And boopily boop. Alrighty. And so, there's some cycads in there. Is that a cycad? No, it's a palm. No. There we go, cycad. So, that was common in the Jurassic, too. So, let's get a lot of those in there, shall we? If it went, I can't tell at this view. Yeah, there we go. Now it's starting to look like the Jurassic. And anything else like ferns? Pine shrub. Okay, that'll work. It's pine. So the thing about the Jurassic is that there were no uh, there were no flowering plants. It was mostly cycads, ferns, and pine trees. So no no flowering plants or broadleaf trees just yet. And that means palm trees too. They're a type of tree related to like flowers I call I think they're called uh anisperms I believe well I'd have to look back at my notes about that what's that is that fern huh I don't know if that's a fern or not I'll look it up later so uh yeah okay now let's uh add a few rocks in this time okay we think we'll lower that in okay now let's get some now this is a herbivore uh enclosure so let's get some stuff in there. Uh, actually, let's get some shelters. We do have some stegosaurs, dryosaurs going in there, so I don't think this is going to fit a sauropod, but 
All right, so let's see here. Boop. It doesn't take a time. It doesn't take any time anymore to build something, so that's cool. All right, so one big shelter will work. Let's try a stone. Uh, a stone uh, shelter right here. Boop. And huh, why not a smaller one for those smaller creatures? Maybe like Dryasaur, that could work. Uh, doop, doop, boop. All right, that'll work. So now, let's get some feeders. So we are dealing with herbivores here, so let's get a large herbivore feeder. All right, put the plants in there. Let's rotate that around. Boop. And boop. Oh, I forgot. There's a message here. I better read this. Oh, it's my boss, apparently. I'm your new employer, Alexander Winstone. Delighted to make your acquaintance. Yeah. Now, I expect this park to be operational very soon. Really? I'm giving you all the funding you need to achieve this. As this will be a trial run for you, no one outside of the company shall ever step foot on this island. So, no need to build an abundance of attractions. Focus solely on the future stars of our shows. Awesome. The dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. Welcome to prehistoric kingdom. Yeah, ah. I can't. <laughs> this looks awesome. All righty. So, uh, this is their first Jurassic dinosaur, an Allosaurus. That's carnivorous. Does it have feathers? Is that feathered? Huh. Okay, that's weird. All right, awesome. So let's look at their Jurassic animals here. So this is a herbivore. It's uh, Camarasaurus. I I've actually grown fond of Camarasaurus. I've been on digs with them. If you've seen uh, my videos. So yeah, what ages do we got? We got hatchling. You got full-grown adult. Look at the tail animation. Just doing that. Okay, en enough of fooling around here. So we'll get a male, I guess. And we got skin colors. How about that? Yeah, okay, that's interesting. Limestone. Ooh, I like that one. Let's try that one. All right. So I guess we'll breed, like, a few of them, shall we? How about two males? All right, so that's nice. And why not a few females as well? Okay, so, okay, look at that. It's slightly changed. Maybe a different skin pattern. Why not? Nah, let's... Nah, you know what? Let's just keep it like that. So, we'll breed three of them. Why not? Okay, so... Now, stegosaurs. Now, here's a stegosaurus stinops. It's not quite the stegosaur I was... Uh, into when I was at the JRDI, it was Stegosaurus uh, Musi, which is another word for Hesperosaurus, but this is pretty cool too. I like uh, uh, Stenops, it's pretty cool. So there's that's what a juvenile looks like, I guess. All right, excellent. Honestly, I thought they got bigger. Oh, this is a female, let's try a male. Oh, there we go, that's what I was thinking. It'd be that big. Okay, so we, we get a Stegosaurus here. Floor, forest floor. Oval green. Ooh, that looks awesome. And this. Ooh, that looks co cool, too. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go with this one. Let's see. Why don't we breed, like, two of those as well? So we'll breed. I guess we'll breed two of those. Okay. And now let's go to our last Jurassic herbivore, Dryosaurus. So, yeah, I'm not so much of a fan of that color. Let's try... Oh, that's the only color we got. Oh, well. Is it coming scaly? Oh, it does come in scaly. And feathery? It does? Does it have feathers? Huh. Riverside? Oh, so they do? All right, so, whatever. That's fine. Since these guys are kind of small, we can uh, breed a lot of them. So, let's try it. Let's do, let's do five females. Two males? Why not? Yep, there we go. Or three. Okay, that's better.
Alright, so they're all adults. I, we could breed juveniles if we wanted to, but eh, maybe some other time. So, ooh, we got marine reptiles and flying reptiles. Let's see. Nope, that doesn't work. That's not yet. Okay, so we'll select them all. And we'll place selected. Oh, beautiful. Okay, let's bring this Jurassic enclosure to life. So, there's one, there's two. Wow. Oh, wow. Let's listen to that. Oh, they're beautiful. Look at that. Oh, and here's the stegosaurus. Oh, wow. This is so cool. Oh, this is magnificent. Oh, where's that guy going? Oh, well. Try a sore right there. Is he stuck? Oh, he's ice skating, I guess. Uh, okay, well, we'll fix that later. Maybe it's the way they react to the ri river or pond. I'm sorry. So, try a sore there, here, try a sore everywhere. Boom. Yeah, it's the water. Oh, we got some swimmers there. Let's see if I could uh, level that a bit. Uh, Alrighty. There we go. It's not so steep anymore. There we go. Oh, this is magnificent. <laughs> Look at this. It's glorious. This is the real Jurassic Park. Look at that. Oh, is that a dryosaur? Yeah, <laughs> the dryosaur made that sound. This is fantastic. I love every moment of this. This is awesome. See if I can get a screenshot there with my personal favorite. No. Okay, there. This is amazing. Absolutely spectacular. You know, this game kind of reminds me of that documentary I saw when I was a kid in middle school. It's called Prehistoric Park. It's basically a made up, uh, uh, wildlife sanctuary full of extinct animals like dinosaurs and saber-toothed cats and a, and a mammoth or two. It Actually, it's just one mammoth, but yeah, it was amazing. So, I kind of like this. It felt like it was inspired by it. Man, I'm speeding here. Alrighty. I can never get the controls on this thing. Okay, I need to get through the gate there. Let's see if it opens. Nope! Ow! Okay, let's try that again. Back it up. So, they react to stress signals, huh? Oh, no, no, not going in! Oh. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I hope insurance covers that. Ooh. Oh, look at that, though. They're drinking water. Alright, so let's try this again, shall we? Without drowning the car. Ow. War drug into a palm. Ugh. No, turn! Oh. Okay. Okay, maybe... Oh, come on. Duck! Okay, I was close. Come on. Come on. Ah! Why is it so hard for me to get through a gate? Okay, there. Yep, well, I'm back. Here's your vehicle. Yeah, I think I hit a deer or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> so, now I got an Allosaurus. Two Allosaurus, actually. So, let's see how that reacts. Uh, Probably not going to be good, but... Yeah, why not? It's, this is basically an experiment run. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Roaring already. Even though dinosaurs probably never roared, but still interesting. Uh-oh, where are they going? 
What are you doing? Oh no! Oh no! I can't see. Where'd he go? Oh, he is he dead? He dead? Is he dead? Oh, he dead. Why? He did nothing. He's your neighbor. Note to self, keep the carnivores and herbivores away from each other. <laughs> Lesson learned. But what am I doing? Are you? What? How is he dead? Oh, oops. Did I give them water? I thought they had the pond there, but... Ooh, I did a no-no. I forgot the pond. Or... This. Oh, no. I forgot the water. Yeah, that's not good. Definitely not good. Well, guys, I think I'm going to leave this right here. And uh, if you like this video, give me a like. And if you want to see more, you can subscribe. And please feel free to share if you like. Now, uh, I'm definitely going to come back to this because I think this game is magnificent. And we'll definitely fix our mistakes that we've did. I'm sorry about that, Mr. Chimerasaurus. And, uh, well, and please... Go and download this game off of Steam. It's in the demo stage right now, but it's fantastic. You will not be disappointed. And best of all, it's all free. Oh, and please, and I also would like to thank uh, Calgo Jackasaur for recommending this game. And please, check out his channel. It's very interesting that what he does. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.